Hey, how you doing guys? Um, I'm a little late on uh, some of my videos of the week. And um, for this uh, week's topic, we actually got a new graphic card, which ain't, uh, hasn't been quite released yet, even though there is a developer's model out for people developing software around it. And it is uh, AMD's uh, Radeon AMD Pro SSG. And uh, as you can see some pictures here uh, for the video card. And um, probably the most notable difference between other video cards is uh, AMD's uh, calls it an SSG. Now basically what this is is a two uh, terabyte SSD drive that we normally uh, use for hard drives in many um could be laptops even desktops now and uh now this typical card does have 16 gigabytes of video ram and uh, like i said a built-in two tetrabyte ssd drive and it also has a built-in uh, pci express controller so um inside the card that obviously gives you access to this ssd drive now basically what this ssd drive does is kind of like a frame buffer similar to what the video RAM does. So once you run out of memory space uh, in your video RAM, it will actually transfer that from your SSG into your video RAM um, to uh, increase uh, access speed, frame rates, and things like that. It makes it much more efficient. Otherwise, it would actually have to go outside of the graphic card to the CPU or other parts of the computer uh, to transfer that to the video card itself. So um, what does that mean for the end user as far as uh, workstation graphics? Well, that's going to really bump up the frame rate. Uh, they're speculating from uh, 15 frames per second all the way to 90, just to give you an example, frames uh frames per second. Uh, also the ability to play 8K um, or playback 8K video real time. Um, so this is going to be really powerful for those people that have uh, 8K video. Um, now, of course, I'm kind of speculating how it's going to work with uh, 8K multicam footage. Uh, it probably will work, but probably at a lower frame rate. Obviously, the more 8K video uh, you throw at it, then, you know, it'll probably reduce that down a little bit, but still it's a quite a powerful card, even for 8k video. Now to any, now you can't just, you know, put it in there and expect any app, uh, application to work with it because, uh, each application has to uh, use AMD's API to actually, uh, access this SSD, SSG drive. Uh, inside the video card and um, so you probably want to wait until you get official support from your video editor um, or other application and actually this supports probably not uh, applications are not only going to be video editing could be medical engineering scientific so um, not just for video editing um, they do have a developer's kit out right now it is pretty pricey at uh, 10k but this is not really made for the end user but for people who's going to write software around this video card to using their software such as uh, adobe um apple um uh, you know any application that want to uh, wants to utilize this video card so i thought that was very interesting news because i haven't seen this type of uh architecture architecture well, i can't even say that word uh, it's kind of a brand new one. And uh, um, most interesting as well is AMD is kind of retiring their Fire Pro workstation graphic card line. Now, I'm kind of wondering if um, Fire Pro is more in name, but of course, I guess there is some uh, special kind of architecture built around it as well. Of course, we're going to whole new uh, graphic cards from the AMD side, so it's great to see that. Uh, give some more competition to uh, nvidia so they're really coming out with some uh, good stuff tell me what you think uh, this new video card and uh, give me your thoughts and we'll be uh, back later this week to give you some more videos